So first of all, the million dollar question, what app do I use? I use FL Studio, which is actually a DAW, D-A-W, which stands for Digital Audio Workstation. You can download it for free, but you just can't save projects and stuff like that. And if you want to buy it, they have a few different options. I recommend the producer edition. Now, once you have FL Studio downloaded, it looks something like this. Let's say that I'm trying to speed run He's a Pirate from Pirates of the Caribbean. What I would do is just look up how to play he's a pirate on piano and then one of these videos will show the midi basically because it's showing the input on the piano which is basically midi so then i would just learn that and copy it into an instrument on here and i would try to figure out what sounds to use and you can even find midi files for certain songs just by searching it but some of those sites are kind of sketchy and scur me a little bit so i prefer just learning it on piano and then transferring it here but i do have this speedrunner starter pack i made that has the midi for a bunch of different popular songs that i've done and then that way you can just kind of drag and drop it into the piano roll also got these flps or templates for a couple different songs and a couple different styles so i'm just going to open one of these up so i can show you exactly how i go through the entire speedrun process so here we've got animals by mark Martin Garrix. So once I've got everything figured out and I've practiced it, I usually practice it over and over again so I can get it to at least a decent speed, I start recording. My recording process happens in two sections. One, I have a face cam recorded separately while I'm not speed running. And that way it's more entertaining and that's why a lot of people think it's fake once i have that i screen record the actual process of speed running the beat so you can use something like obs that's what i'm using or you can use something like flex clip online i'll leave links to both of those in the description as well uh. also there's a bunch of different keyboard shortcuts i use to make this process faster a really important one is Control k which just lets me go from one instrument to the next so let's say i'm on the super saw right now and then i press Control k and now I'm on the bass. And in the Speedrunner starter pack, I've got a whole PDF of a bunch of different keyboard shortcuts that you can use to make it faster. So yeah, so I'll just speed run this one real quick and then we'll hop into CapCut and I'll show you exactly how I edit it together. So then once I've got the speed run recorded to a decent speed, I upload it to Dropbox and then I edit it on CapCut, which I'm gonna show you right now. Let's go to CapCut, new project, and then I'm just going to put in the animal speed run i start laying down the notes as soon as the short starts that way if the melody is instantly recognizable i feel like it hooks people's attention so i go to aspect ratio change it to 916 and i'll usually crop out the very bottom so that way it's mainly just showing the piano roll sometimes i'll take some from the top as well and then i'll just zoom in on this so that it covers the whole screen then this part right here this is the tedious part i add a keyframe right here so that we have a baseline of where the camera starts from and then i just move this around until it shows that the mouse is in the center of the screen and i'll just do that for the whole thing so that way the keyframes are just kind of following the mouse and once you have a baseline keyframe every time you move this video is automatically going to create a keyframe for you and i'll speed this up so it's not as boring for you in the future then at the end, I'll usually zoom in on the pattern because I just think it looks cool to see all the elements coming together to make the full song. And I think that's what people find appealing about the speedruns. <laughs> then I export. And once it's been exported, I go into a new project and I add that video back in. This is where I add the timer and my face. Usually I add my face first and I have this album of just different face cams. And then at the end of all of my face cam videos, I do like some type of victory thing. Like, woo, we did it. Yay. Speed run complete. Victory. So I'll just scroll to that part. I'll split it and I'll delete the rest and then I'll move this back so that I can find where the song starts playing. Then I'll delete the rest of it, and then I will bring this back to the beginning. Then I remove the background by just scrolling at the bottom here to re remove background, and usually auto removal does fine. And then I'll zoom it up a little bit, find a good position for it where it's out of the way of the melody. 
And then the clicking noises, sometimes I add that in post, but a lot of these face cams just have me like viciously typing on my keyboard and like doing the mouse clicking all crazy like. And I've also got some typing effects included in the speedrun starter kit. Now let's find the timer. This is the famous speedrun timer that I believe Dream popularized. But to get this timer, what I did was I just found a YouTube video with this timer, which I have a link in the description for this timer video. And then I just did YouTube to MP4. Or you can go to livesplit.com. You can download the timer from there. And once you have the timer, you just find a good spot for it. Make sure it starts at zero and there's no music in it. And then I'll go here to transform again. So I can just crop it where it's only got the necessary amount of black space. And I really like to do it right here beside my ear. It, it really doesn't matter. It just depends on like where it's out of the way of the notes. And then I find the spot where the song starts to play and I split it. And then I do a freeze, which is here at the bottom. And then I drag this to the end. We've got our whole speed run. I do a few extra things too, just to make it more entertaining. I will export this whole video. So then once that is all together, I'll go back and add that video into a new project. And I'll usually apply a little bit of saturation, you know, just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it, maybe a little brightness. And then I'll speed parts of it up by like 1.2 or 1.3 just while I'm like penciling in the notes because that's about as far as I can get without it starting to degrade the quality. And it's being sped up after the timer, so I'm not cheating. And sometimes when I'm like copy and pasting stuff or moving over to another pattern, I'll speed it up by like times three. So that way during like silences and stuff where nothing's really happening, it goes through it really quick. That's pretty much how I do my thing. And if you would like a really easy way to get started with this, I've created this speedrun starter pack, which has a bunch of different MIDI for popular songs, templates for you to get started with, drum one shots, synth one shots, all of that good stuff. And if you'd like to see the plugin that I use for my rock speed runs, check out this video right here. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you later. Why am I this way?